Alrighty guys, welcome to the vlog. Um, did I take some years off of my face? I cut my hair and my beard. I like it better like this. I like it better short, but sometimes life gets in the way and you don't and you grow and you grow burly. But anyways, um okay, vlog today. I said I was going to do this. Um, my wife had to talk me into it. This is the updated version of the review on the DR1 um, first person view race drone. Um, it re it re definitely deserves another shot at a vlog. Another eight minutes or so. Because I've been flying it for an extra couple days now. And it's absolutely amazing. 50 thumbs up from me. Um, majorly, majorly improved on all the Airhawk drones I've ever flown before. Besides the little version of this one. I will say that if you want to get into racing drones, this is the way to go. Don't go buy a $200 race drone and fly it because you will. There is absolutely no doubt in anybody, any drone flyer's mind that you will crash and break it. So, this one doesn't, um, when you crash this one, let me, let me show you real quick. When you, the way this one is built, if you look around where the props are, the, they are actually built into the body. The prop guards, look at that. See that? Mm -hmm. If you look at, um, the prop guards, they are actually built into the body here. And so when this thing smashes against the wall or whatever, that whole body is protecting it. It, it it's it's really really good design um the camera up front's a great design it, uh, they don't it doesn't break it doesn't hit anything the blades don't hit anything really good design now i'm gonna get it up in the air and um fly it around i'm sorry i'm gonna get it up in the air and fly it around a bit and show you how much control i have over this thing okay it's it's amazing See it? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. If you see, I'll bring it back up here. This drone, here it comes. This drone is about as stable and steady. Yeah, try to keep it on. Yeah. Okay. About as stable and steady as a drone will ever be. Watch the yaw, okay? Can you see it good there? Yeah, Spinning perfect. good there. I mean, this thing is so steady. It. I'll do some, um, I forget what you call them. Time checks. Okay. Wait. Hang on. So I'm going to go to the ground. Okay. From right here. Okay. Got it? Yep. Count to three. Okay, guys. I'm going to do a punch up or a punch out, really. What that is is I'm going to push the throttle from the bottom to the top and see how fast it goes straight up. Ready? I'm going to count to three and go one. It's not that fast, Becca. Okay. So you'll be able to, you'll be able to catch it. Ready? One, two, three. Did you get it all yes. the way? Wow. I see. Yeah. <laughs> No, that was perfect. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. It's right in dead center. I can even zoom in. See it twisting? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to fly it a minute. Here we go. Okay, watch this. See how steady, though? I can yes. stop it and bring it right back to us. Yeah. And it'll just, I mean, look at this. Look at how steady. Yeah. Your flying has improved tremendously. <laughs> Did you get that? Do it again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, now. Yeah, the fl my flying is ridiculous now. It's getting... That's yeah. what I'm saying, guys. Point at me for a second. That's what I'm saying. If you buy this within one week, you will be flying drones. I mean, if you really practice like I practice, 
you'll be flying drones uh, like a racer in a week in, a, in no time it's really cool here we <laughs> oh, now, <laughs> that's one thing I will say about this. If it hits the grass, usually that will happen because a piece of it, it's so short, a piece of grass will get up in here and flip it over. Now, an, another thing I will tell you I forgot. I literally just <laughs> completely blank. forgot what I was going to tell him. The grass and the blade. Yeah, no, it wasn't nothing to do with that. It falls from the sky, crashes. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Yep. Alright, let's see if I can get it working. Oh, plus, um, uh, charge time. Huh. Let me <laughs> tell you something. This thing right here, pocket juice, Walmart, they're about 20 bucks, maybe 15 for this one because it's a 6,000 milliamp hour. Um, this thing, I've charged this drone 10 times off of it. And it's still three bars. It's only moved down one bar. And I keep this plugged up, and as soon as that drone dies, where does it go? Right On there. The and 20 minutes later, you're flying it's again. It's incredible. It really, really is. This is a majorly, majorly nice, good drone, especially for beginners, but even for advanced drone pilots. Even for advanced drone pilots, this thing is amazing. I give this one as many thumbs up as we possibly can. And I know there's going to be people say, well, why don't you go get a Ishin Lizard? It, you know, they're, well, I'm sorry, you can't do that. Ishin Lizard's 200 For this price, you can, you're can you looking at, like, maybe a, a furry bee or a tiny whoop. That's, like, for professional drone flyers um, or racers. Um, this is at Walmart. You don't have to order it. It flies just as good just as good as all those so there's no reason to I gotta punch it up oh. okay guys what I've got here is I've got my phone let's see if you can see it yeah I've got my my camera pointed at my phone here so you guys can see the flight because I didn't really get a good good one last time of this let's check it out Like that? Whoa! What? It's a great idea. Done. So what'd you think? I wasn't sure I was gonna do it, but I told you I would do a second one just to tell you exactly what I thought about it, and it needed it. This thing is absolutely amazing. I hope I got some good shots of it flying. It died. Um, on the requests, by the way, we are going to get to those this week coming up because I was going to do it this weekend, but traffic and people and it's it's Labor Day. It's been raining. It was terrible. So we're going to start that all next week because after Labor Day here, business dies down a little bit and we've got the, the run of the town. So actually, there's a rod run coming up next weekend. Uh, Shades of the Past. Wait. Either... The fall rod run, then shades of the past, or shades of the past and the fall rod run. I believe the fall rod run is first and then shades of the past. I think that's how it goes. 
But um, they're huge. They are huge rod runs, and we will be out there every day filming the cars. Beautiful cars. I mean, we're going to see some nice stuff. Okay, guys, I waited till dark to do the outro. Um, I really believe what I'm saying about this drone. This is one that I do believe everybody would enjoy. Um, I, 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 give, I really do give this one thumbs up. Um, I did want to say this. I, I waited till uh, dark outside to do the outro because I'm going to turn this light off and I'm going to show you what the drone looks like at night. Hang on, there. Um, there are no, there are two tiny, tiny lights on the drone. There's one on top, right there, and then there's some on the back, letting you know what's going on. So when you turn them on, they're solid, red. But this does not have any other lights. So when you're flying it around at night, you can barely see this thing. Let's see if I can hover it right in front of me and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm holding the camera with my knees. There's the drone. Right in front of us, if you, whoops. If you see there, that drone flying, there are no lights. Right there. You can see the one little red light on the back. See it hover in there? But that's it, guys. That's the only light on this drone. So it is not for night flight. It is for daytime flight. So I did want to bring you out in dark to show you that. I'll land it. And that's how easy it is to land. Well, thumbs up, share. I know this is the second one. We won't be doing another one, guys, but I I think it deserved it. Um, thumbs up, share. I'll see you tomorrow. Didn't go to Dollywood today because it was absolutely astounding, the crowds that were there. We, would have, we wouldn't have got on any rides, so... <clears throat> Let's see, tomorrow is Monday. What are we going to do tomorrow? I don't know. We'll see. Um, Rod Run this weekend coming up and the weekend after that. Next two weeks in a row, we got major Rod Runs here. But I'll see you tomorrow. Thumbs up, share. Thanks, guys. See you.